Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Clover, and uh, I'm continuing on this uh, adventure that we have uh, set out upon on uh, Final Fantasy IV. Uh, so I just got Rydia. We're in the town of Kaipo. Uh, I just defeated the uh, the general or the officer, whatever he was called, and the um, three soldiers that he was with. And now we have a new party member. Oh, uh, I made a mistake. I should have uh, saved some of the... Uh, some uh, of Kane's equipment. Um, hopefully I'll remember to do that in the future, but it's not super necessary. Uh, but yeah, right now we got uh, Rydia and we've got Cecil, and Rydia is a magic user. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to change where she is, and I'm going to put her in a back row, so she'll hopefully take a little less damage. Um, I don't know if as a dragoon, Cecil, uh, or as a dragoon, as a dark knight, Cecil, um, uh, whether or not he actually uh, uh, protects people, but he, I think he might. He certainly does as a uh, as a paladin, uh, which you'll you'll see as the game goes on. Anyway, uh, we have one important scene. Uh, Ether one, very nice. Uh, we have one important scene uh, that happens, and that is right here. <gasps> Rosa. Cecil, don't leave me, Cecil. Poor Rosa. Anyway, we'll talk to this guy. We need Sand Ruby to cure the fever, but it is in the lair of the monster called Ant Lion. Okay, so basically, what we have to do is we have to. Uh, we have to uh, find a specific uh, ruby uh, to cure uh, Rosa of her uh, of her uh, sickness, uh, and we will uh, get to that very soon. But uh, important things first: um, Rydia is equipped with some garbage equipment. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to switch her over to a bow and arrow. Uh, long term, she's a uh, She's a, um, she's a, uh, magic user, and she uses, um, also whips, uh, but we don't have any whips for her yet. I think that only happens later in the game, and you'll see some important stuff happens, but let's sort this to even everything out, and then equip Rydia with her bow and arrow. She's right-handed, so you equip the arrows on the right hand, and you equip the bow on the left hand. Uh, you actually, I think you get different, uh, different, uh, stats if you equip them on the, on the opposite hand. Like, uh, if you equip the, uh, the arrows on the left hand, uh, then I think they'll be a little bit lower. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But, anyway, uh, yes, so make sure you equip, uh, you equip the right, uh, equipment on the right hands, and you should be good. Um... You could also choose not to have her use a short bow instead. Use a rod, but whatever. Um, let's also see if there's any equipment uh, to get for her or Cecil. And uh, maybe if uh, we don't have enough money, we could do a little grinding uh, to, to get that stuff. But I think we should actually be okay. So, uh, cap, cloth, leather, and iron ring. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, one of the characters we're about to meet doesn't have a cap or an iron ring, so we'll buy one of those. And then I think we have uh, we have life, we have cures. Okay, that should be enough, and we have enough tents. Uh, now, one of the annoying things is that uh, that Rydia is very low level, so uh, she's very low level and she has very low HP. So she's going to really take a lot of damage when uh, when we get into fights, uh, and you know that'll be a struggle for us. Uh, but basically, what we're doing now is we are trying to go to uh, the ant lion's lair, uh, which uh, we'll have to go through on a little adventure to get to, uh, and meet some new people, meet some new friends. It'll be a great time for all. Uh, Riddy is very slow. And she misses a lot. But, um, 
you know, as time goes on, she'll get a lot better, um, especially when she starts learning new magics and things like that. She's uh, She could be a real powerhouse, especially uh, especially later in the game. Maybe I'm giving a little a little too much away on on what happens with uh, with Rydia. But uh, yeah, as we uh, as we continue playing, you're gonna see uh, that she gains a lot of levels pretty quickly. Um, she's gonna really get hurt. I think in this case, the best strategy is to run from back attacks. Um, some people may disagree with me on that, but it's... It, it, the fact of the matter is... Uh, ooh, she doesn't have any white magic. Uh, the fact of the matter is that she's going to take a lot of damage, and, um, you know, the, the amount of effort it would take for us to change form with just two characters, and then to take on the rest of the, those enemies, it, you know, I don't think it's worth it. Anyway, we're at our first cave, and I believe this is called Waterway? Watery Pass South. Okay. So, this is the next uh, dungeon in the game. And I'm going to get these chests. I really wish they had the uh, the dash functionality for this game. That would be really cool. I'm sure there is, like, uh, something that you can do to, to get dash functionality, but whatever. I'm not going to bother. Oh, man. This guy's rough. I'm gonna try and divide my uh, my damage a little bit here, so we can we can see uh, yeah, yeah, and do that exactly right. But that's fine. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep uh, trying to take these guys out. So yeah, Final Fantasy IV uh, was one of the games that I was uh, I was I played the most as a kid. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, I think in the last episode. Uh, it was uh, the first RPG I was ever introduced to, and um, because of that, I you know I have a I have a I love it. I love this game. It's a great game. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think they really messed up with uh, with delivering this game to the to the U.S. and sort of uh, you know sort of. Basically, we should have gotten all the Final Fantasies. We should have had to wait for for 20 years to be able to get them. But can't turn back time, can we? All right, so we're going to continue heading through the Vothery Pass. Ooh, who's that? Who's that old fella? Another tent? They really do give you a lot of tents. What? You wield the Dark Sword? Help me, I beg you! What? A wicked bard tricked my daughter into running away to Damkin, and I sense evil in the direction of Damkin. Sure, Tella. You must be the sage Tella. So, Cecil knows who Tella is, but Tella doesn't know who Cecil is. Okay. I am Tella. I am going to Damkin to get my daughter who eloped. But a huge monster is blocking the way. My magic is not strong enough to defeat it. You and your dark sword might help. And this girl is a caller? She is quite gifted, I sense. She is gifted. We are also on our way to Damkin. Good. Let us work together to get to Damkin. Let's hurry. Huzzah. All right, so Tella is another, uh, another magic user primarily. And, uh, he is, uh, uh, it's so weird that they always put them in the top slot, but, um, he's another magic user, so I'm gonna wanna put him in the back row also, uh, cause he's also very weak, and yes, I was luckily very right. Uh, Tella doesn't have a, uh, anything for his head or his arms, so it's good that we grab those. Alright, uh, now, two cool things in this cave are... Um, basically is, you know, the, the thing I'll show you right now. Uh, there are some secret areas, uh, and I can't remember whether I knew about these when I was a, when I was a kid or not, uh, but, um, you know, the, it's, uh, there are some really cool, cool things in this cave. Um, so, uh, Tella, I'm gonna actually start using some magic with. I could probably start doing that with, uh, with Rydia also. But I'm just worried about uh, MP expenditure. 
Um, even though I don't think it'll be too bad in the long run. Water bugs are always really difficult to take out. Um, I'm not going to use any more magic on this one just to be able to kill it, but hopefully that'll do it. Nope. Yeah. Water bugs have a lot of HP, and uh, that's uh, life imita or art imitating life. Because water bugs in real life have a lot of HP. Anyway, uh, we defeated the water bug, and uh, ready to gain a level. Sweet! Uh, gonna keep going. I'm gonna grab this chest over here, even though I could probably do that on the way back. There's an iron ring, so I didn't need to buy one. But I did. Okay, let's, uh, let's do some, some, uh, magic damage with Radio. So, yeah, at the beginning of the game, they're, uh, you know, the magic users are very limited in terms of, uh, what they can do, uh, what they can do uh, magically because of their limited MP. Uh, so generally I try to like to preserve it as much as possible. Uh, but, you know, there's enough spots here in the cave where we'll be able to save. And um, yeah, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, let's take him out, Cecil. No. He might run away. The water bugs are also uh, monsters that retreat right quite often, so, um, you know, you don't have a... Sometimes they'll just run away in the middle of battle, which is unfortunate, because you want the extra XP. Anyway, I'm ready to gain a level, and she learned Lit 1, which will be perfect. A lot of the monsters are water-based. Uh, especially, we're gonna get into some fights with toads. Here's a little secret. Uh, oop, well... That didn't work as well as planned, but um, yes, there is a secret room behind this waterfall, and uh, we'll be able to get some good uh, extra items from here. Good job, Tella. And I got an extra cure one. Sweet. Okay. Collect these extra treasure chests. Nice, an elixir. This early in the game is a little weird. And a thousand GP. That will go a long way. Alright. I always wondered how they came up with the uh, the sound for the, uh, the attack animation. Um, like, what, how, did, how did somebody pitch that idea? Alright, I need something that sounds like 13 records scratching at the same time. Uh, played very quickly. I'm sure there was a lot more to it. Ah, uh, almost. Yeah, like I said, these water bugs have a lot of HP. And... Uh, come on. Sorry about that, I am back. And, uh... We won that battle. Uh, so, yeah, Rydia has a very low uh, accuracy rate. I don't know if it's Rydia or if it's just the weapons that we have equipped on her. But she misses a lot. So it'll be exciting when she finally gets uh, that, uh, that those whips, because that usually resolves the, um, that usually resolves the, uh, the accuracy issues. Running into a rock... Okay. And we got another cure one. I am glad that I don't know if it's a specific seed issue, but um the the encounter rate seems relatively low here. All right, these guys are a bit of a pain because they uh, cast toad on you. Um, and Toad turns you into a Toad. Uh, and, you know, it could be a little bit difficult to, to try and get back from that, but hopefully we will be able to take them out relatively quick. Okay, so we'll knock that one out, and one more. I do think you get some Maiden's Kisses here, uh, which allows you to heal, uh, or, you know, uh, recover from the the toad effect uh but yeah it's a uh, it can be pretty annoying if uh 
like one of your heavy physical hitters or heavy magic users gets turned into a toad. Okay, Iridia doesn't have any MP left, so we will just have her attack and Tella takes him out in one hit. It's funny, Tell is like a very weak character, and ultimately in the like in the long run he's he's not very effective because he's so weak. But um yeah, in this in this beginning section he's really uh, he's really worthwhile in my opinion. Um that'll especially kind of uh come true when we uh, fight the boss of this cave. Okay. And continuing to head through the cave. Uh, I always hated when I was a kid. Uh, I would get super nervous about being able to get to places before I got attacked by enemies. And um, that was like a prime example of it where, you know, I was about to head into a safe area and I was just not able to make it. Well, here we are in a save area. Tella, let's take a rest here. A special field will protect us from monsters. You can use our tent or uh, cabin or and even save. Let's rest now and be prepared for the coming battle in my tent. Oh, thank you, Tella. I was going to say, he's being awful, uh, awful generous uh, about our equipment, calling it our tent. Anyway. Fast asleep. She must have been very tired. You said she was. A caller of mist. She seems very gifted as a magic user. With proper training, she would be able to wield the magic other than... She would be able to use the magic other than the calling monsters. <laughs> that was a little fun. How sweet, just like Anna's childhood. Anna is your only daughter. She ran away to Damkin with a bard, because I did not consent to their marriage. Should have just said okay, Tella. What do you want to go to Damkin for? My friend is suffering from a terrible fever in Kaipo. So you need the sand ruby. So you too are in a hurry. What is the monster of this cavern? It's a horrifying monster with eight huge tentacles. We must defeat it first and save Anna and your friend. Wait, we must... What gives you the impression that you need to defeat them? Oh, oh, oh okay, he's talking about the guy over here. Okay. Never mind. All right. I was going to try and uh, give a little dig to the uh, to the Final Fantasy four writers, but I guess they were fine. Okay, continuing to head through the cave. Aw, oh, man. Another example of... Uh, being right at the edge of something and not being able to get it because I got encountered. Yeah, Tella. I wonder if the the water bug often does the remedy attack. Nice, Radia. The water bug often does the remedy attack, which you see later in the game uh, allows uh, characters to heal themselves. I wonder if there, like, there was ooh, an ice rod. Uh, I'm going to equip that on Tella. I wonder if there was something in... Uh, actually, instead of doing that, let's equip it on Rydia, because she has less uh, She has less MP. And then when uh, she runs out of MP, we can just use the Ice Rod instead. Uh, even though it's not going to be super effective here, because it's primarily water monsters. Uh, anyway, um, I wonder if, uh, if the... The remedy uh, code just got messed up for the uh, for the water bug uh, because it tries to do remedy, which normally heals uh, enemy um, monsters uh, or enemy characters, like it just did right there. And um, it doesn't happen uh, whenever it does it. I, maybe it, it's one of those things that uh, that play testers, when it came to the American version, they were like, "Oh, this makes this makes it too difficult." That it's constantly healing itself. I don't know. We should ask the creators of the uh, American Final Fantasy IV adaptation. 
Um, but yeah, this game has been is one of the uh, Final Fantasies that's had a lot of releases. It's interesting because I mean, I know there there's division among among the Final Fantasies uh, Final Fantasy fan bases about uh, which is the best one and you know uh, which ones people like the most. But um, this one I don't think gets a lot of love and appreciation. I also feel the same way about um, about Final Fantasy VIII. But um, yeah, it's it's just it's interesting that uh, that um, you know uh, it's interesting that um, the character uh, that you know this game had so many releases, even though. It wasn't, uh, notoriously one of the favorite games. Well, look at me just messing up this battle. Babbling too much and not getting these guys. Alright, thank you. Okay. We'll take that heal. And we'll keep going. And we will get these treasure chests. Da, nya, 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 nya. Okay. I'll take this guy out. Let's do a lit one with you. Can't wait till they start learning some real magic. We'll be able to get some real damage going here. Well, that wasn't too bad. Alright. So yeah, I have a lot of visceral memories of uh, of this game from when I was a kid. My brother got it um, for our for our Super Nintendo. It's actually the uh, the card I still own, uh, uh, and uh, he uh, he was playing it a lot. Uh, you know, when it was first released, and you know, me and my siblings played it a lot too. It was a really uh, it was a really fun thing that brought us brought us together a lot. I'm sure it caused many arguments about uh, who got to play and all that jazz. But yeah, it's a it's a very fun game. I love the story. Um, it, it really is the the game that got me into gaming. Maybe if I hadn't been introduced to it, I would have uh, I would have had a a different interest. But no, I mean this this game's a wonderful game. I don't care what I don't care what anybody says about how easy it is. Okay, and we are just finishing these guys up. Come on. Ugh. Yes, these take a long time to take out, but uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. Nice. Okay, good job, Cecil. Do do do. I got a lot of cures. Maybe I should. Ugh. I'm gonna just run away. Especially this. I'm not gonna keep doing this, especially if I make a mistake. All right. Okay. This is a uh, one of the things that's kind of cool about this cave is the uh, is the um, all the all the hidden stuff that they have uh, lying around the cave. Um, it's just like there's there's so much to to find. There's so many hidden pathways. So these little guys in the back are really annoying. Um, they will... Oh, psych. That's terrible. Okay. Well, uh, these guys are really annoying. They're uh, tiny mages, and they... Uh, they do psych on uh, any magic users, and they're not weak to any magic. So, generally... I think probably best bet is to uh, take them out as quickly as possible. I might have to use an ether at some point. And they also cast hold if you attack them and don't kill them. So let's take care of this first. Hopefully I don't screw the pooch on this one. Okay. Come on. Come on, tiny mage. Ugh. And at this point, there is no point in waiting around. I'm just gonna run. Uh, she's out of MP. 
He's low on MP. Alright, let's use some of these... These, uh... This monstrous amount of, uh... Of heals that I got. I probably didn't need that for, uh... Tella. Okay, and then I'm gonna use an Ether one on Rydia. It's not gonna be super useful, because she's not super strong, but... Whatever. Okay, cure one, nice. And then... There's a big deal over here, this one, that we're about to get. Uh, right over here is the Leather Cat. So we're going to put that on Rydia because she's the lowest M uh, HP. Uh, and that'll bring her up just a tiny bit. Um, ooh, actually, let me show you this now. So on the equipment screen, you can see there's, uh, there's these uh, three numbers on the left. Uh, 886. Uh, the one up top is the attack power, uh, the next one down is the physical defense, and the one down here is the magic, uh, defense. I know that might be obvious to some people, but, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of different modifiers and stuff in Final Fantasy, so, uh, you know, could be people wondering what those numbers might mean. All right, this, uh, this brings back a, a very, uh, vivid memory from my, uh, from my childhood of seeing my brother uh, play this uh, through because it's like the I thought the area was so beautiful especially with all the um, all the uh, all the stuff you could see down in the cavern uh, that was really cool uh, I like that the uh, fights get more complicated as the level goes on uh, and you have to start fighting more and more people it can get a little annoying, especially if you're doing it over and over and over again, depending on the uh, encounter rate. But, um, yeah. So I think my strategy here is going to be to just knock them out as quickly as possible. One by one. And then we'll go on to the other one. Because this does take a lot of time. Mmm, the good old ten. Yep, that's right, water bug, run away. And we got him. Nice. Alright. It's good to earn up the XP in this cave, even though, you know. You're never you're you're never at much threat in this game. Uh there there are some really difficult fights. Uh especially Golbez, who uh, we'll learn a little bit about Golbez soon. Uh, but uh, Golbez in the, uh, in the underground is, is really difficult. I'm sure uh, some of you will agree with me. Now these alligator uh, enemies are a little bit annoying because they do two attacks. So they can attack uh, two, of your, two of your guys uh, sequentially. Uh, and apparently they're not weak to light. Great. Wish I had known that before doing lightning. Okay, I'll just swing away at him with physical attacks, I guess. And I could do a lot of damage in a very short amount of time uh, with those with those double attacks, but we got him. All right, nice. Yeah, I thought that, especially down there in the, in the valley, there's just beautiful, uh, beautiful 16-bit uh, uh, art. It's just gorgeous. And we got the Darkness Sword. So that's the first, uh, the first, um, basically level up to Cecil's sword. So that jumped up uh, his attack points by 10. So hopefully that'll really allow him to, to lay on some damage. We can't go out from here. We can go out from here. Sorry. Uh, the monster is in... in, in uh, the monster is in the cave beyond there. We should camp it and regain our strength out there. Okay. Thank you, Tella. Uh, all tutorial te tutorial Tella. Okay, Sandmans. These guys are generally pretty easy, so I'm just going to try and physically, physically attack them. I mean, I guess I could, I could try and... Oh, wow. 
128, I guess they're weak to, to ice. Uh, Ray did a good job. So when I get back into the second part of the cave, I'm gonna... I'm probably going to take some slower fights, and I'm probably gonna run a lot more, because, um... We're coming up on a boss fight, and I don't want to have Tella or Rydia use too much, um, too much, uh, MP. Uh, so tense, regain a significant portion of, uh, health and MP for your, uh, for your characters. Uh, I think this is the first time we're using it, uh, in the game. Uh, but yeah, it's, a uh, it becomes less useful as the game goes on, and the thing you really want to use is the, uh, is the uh, um, cabin. Cabins are really useful. It's down there! Wah! All right. And here we are in the second part of the underwater... Uh, the underwater cave. Uh, like I said, I'm going to run from a lot of these fights because I don't want to have... Uh, I don't want to have to use uh, Tella and uh, Rydia's MP too much, and it's not—it's not really that far um, that we have to go. Uh, the uh, we're getting those are some pretty pre ooh, darkness gloves. Those are some pretty um, strong enemies, so they would really take a lot of damage from us, and we don't want to have to kind of waste time with that. And darkness hat. Ah, uh, yes, I will be getting a full collection of darkness armor, which is pretty sweet. Uh, maybe I don't get a shield. I can't remember. But yep, here we go. Coming up. All right, and into the second area. So this is a, the second area is where we'll fight the boss. Uh, definitely not doing this. Uh, the second area is where, we'll, where we will fight the boss, and uh, uh, we're almost out of the cave, which is pretty cool. I don't want to fight you. Stop. Darkness armor and ether one. Yeah, I, I I wonder if that was intentional for them not to not to put the uh, the darkness shield in uh, in the cave, or maybe I'm just missing it. That is a that is a very real possibility. Anyway, here is the boss of the cave. He's coming. It is Octomam. All right. So Octomam is a is a real uh, damage dealer, um, and you've really got to be kind of mindful about how to how to approach it. Um, like opening up, you could uh, you could start with lit one. Uh, from Rydia. I'm gonna try and slow him down a little bit uh, with Tella, uh, who doesn't have slowly yet, so never mind. Uh, we'll just do lit one. I think maybe uh, I, for, I I never know the optimal uh, the optimal routes for these battles, or like the completely optimal routes for these battles. There are some uh, there are some bosses who are susceptible to uh, things like stop. Uh, which can be very useful, but um, I don't know who they are, and I don't want to have to, you know, keep trying to do it on every single, on every single boss. Um, the important piece of information about Octomam, I don't know if this is the case in this port, but in Final Fantasy IV DS, uh, Tell will mention mid-battle that as he, uh, as you do more damage to, to Octomam. Uh, he'll get higher defense, and his uh, and his physical attacks will become stronger. And I do think it, that is the case. Um, so, you know, you'll see more possibility for uh, for criticals from Octomam, and hopefully that doesn't you know that doesn't ruin our run here. But I don't think it will. So we're just uh, pummeling him. With uh, with lit one and uh, attacks from Cecil, who's really doing a lot of damage with this new sword. Ready to deal in her, eh, not great damage, but it's okay. No, Ridia. I might try and heal Ridia up in a in a second. Good job. He's slowing down. Great. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Tell 
Okay. Yeah, it's, it's very weird. Her, the Rydia's damage seems to be variable here, and I don't know why. Like, sometimes she's doing a lot of damage, and other times she's not. Uh, I'm just glad he's not, like, swinging away at her, because she can really go down very quickly sometimes, and, you know, that can be a real pain. Nice. Now we can go to Damkin from behind this waterfall. It leads to the exit. All right. Well, we have just finished here. Uh, we've finished the watery pass. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll call it here. Uh, thanks, guys, so much for joining. Uh, I'm really having a lot of fun doing this. So, uh, yeah, I hope you'll join uh, for, the, for the next video. Uh, we will see you guys later. Bye.